Hey guys, welcome back to Devon Rule 16. I am your host Javon and today we're going to do another type of video. I'm going to be showing you how to set up the RPCS3 emulator today so that you can play the glorious old PS3 games on your system. Now I'm doing this as fast as possible so keep up and let's get into it. So I'm going to leave these two sites in the description for you guys to simply click on. So the first one will be the RPCS3 website. Very simple. You'll simply click the download if you're using Windows to download the file that you'll need. And we're going to go over to this one as well. The normal PlayStation Update Store because we're going to need to update the PlayStation as well. So you're going to simply click on both of those and have both of those downloaded. You're done. That's it. <laughs> that takes care of that right off the gate. So now we're going to go and look for where I have them installed, which I put them in my videos for some reason or another. And they're going to be right here. So we simply extract the RPCS3 folder and we just keep this here it's very simple it's not hard to do at all it's very easy to get this done so I'm, I just launched the RPCS3 emulator obviously it configured and put in some extra files right after that it's gonna wanna install the firmware you're simply gonna do that let it install and after this is finished, basically you can play the games now. Now to download games that you might, you, I obviously can't tell you the sites. You can simply Google that crap like Ratchet and Clank All for One, Download, PS3. Very simple to find that type of stuff. It's, it's as simple as that. Once that compiles in the shaders, um, I already did a video on how to configure your controller. Once your conf controller is already configured, it automatically detects it depending on which setting you're using. Um, the settings are quite simple. I normally keep them all on these settings because my system isn't all that great. I obviously am testing on integrated graphics right now, but I mean the RX 570. So I basically leave everything as default. Except for this, I turn on strict to display it. Sometimes I use strict rendering mode. Depends, and I might use this every once in a while. May improve performance if you have a higher core count, which it definitely helps. And the asynchronous texture streaming as well if you have a higher GPU. But basically I leave everything else on default. And that's about it for the how to set up RPCS3. Fast, isn't it? Now this was very bare minimum. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below and I will guide you further. But this is basically all you need to do to actually set up the game and have any sort of game running on it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I can please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. Smash that like button if you enjoyed this quite a quick content.